everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Lux SMP. So in today's episode, we are going to be checking out all the progress and hard work that I have put into the interior design of my house. I am so happy with the way that it turned out, and I can absolutely say that it's pretty much finished. Like, if, if I do happen to add something, it'll be later on, and it'll just be like a small little detail, but... Pretty much the inside of my house is complete. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys it right now. So of course you're going to enter into the front door. And then you'll be entering into this room. Which we're actually going to kind of skip this room for right at the moment. We're just going to be making a left into the living room. <laughs> so we have our little reading area over here. Uh, I did change it up just a little bit just to make it match more. Uh, but we have our books and then our little seats that we can sit down in. And then over this direction we have our couch and our table. Um, I decided to add these banners because I thought that gave it a nice little, I don't know, kind of detail. And then we have our fireplace, which I've already told you guys before, I am not lighting a fire in that place. I do not want my house to burn down. That would be absolutely terrible. Um, then we have, I, I added leaves because I wasn't, I, like, I wasn't really sure what to do, but I wanted to like add, like I wanted to incorporate some kind of like, greenery into my house that's why you like see these little potted plants here um so i really wanted to incorporate some green into my house which actually it's kind of orange because of the texture pack but um it looks really really nice and i love this painting that's that's in the dandelion texture pack it's so cute with the bunnies i love it now over on this wall i i thought that i would do a couch but i really did not like that idea so i ended up making like a bar area um, and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out as well so we have some little chairs some little stools made with pistons and you can just sit on up here and then just kind of drink your beverage <laughs> and uh, I really like how it turned out so it looks pretty cool with the potions and everything and then over here on this wall I just did like a little thing for paintings. I wasn't really sure what to do over here but it needed some type of decoration so um, that's what I ended up going with. Now for the kitchen I really did not do much in here. The only thing I did do was add a couple more lights to the ceiling some torches, and that's actually something I didn't even mention, the torches. Um, every single torch that I have on the wall is like decorated with the item frame, and this is actually a trap door. So all the torches are decorated as well. Um, but anyways, I like added a cake, and then added this kind of thing over here, and also if you click this button on the fridge, it will dispense a type of food, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm actually going to put that back in there though. So I just like to keep that stocked. Um, but anyway, so we have the little counter over here. And of course, the rest of it is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, and then over here, we have the way to get to like behind the bar. So you can just like, you know, yeah, making baby. Wait, make babies, you cows. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Lena. <laughs> okay. That was just random. Um, but yeah, so that's the entrance to the back of the bar. Now, if we head through here, this is the dining room. And I added leaves um, around it as well. And we have the nice table. I added this little... I don't, it's, not, it's not really like a chandelier, but it's, it's sort of like a chandelier. Um, and then we have the... Uh, paintings and then of course the torches and then over this way I've I've told you guys about this before but it's like kind of one of those in the wall cabinets that hold like your plates and your cups and stuff um, and this this is supposed to mimic like the door being open but it looks really nice as well um, so that's this room and of course I've added paintings and everything to the walls I think they look really really nice 
Now we're gonna come to the chest room. And over here I've added all the lamps and then I've added this, this is glowstone behind here. I've added the greenery with the, the cauldrons. Um, I've added all the chests, I've made all the chests, like pretty much all of these are empty. <laughs> um, but I've added all the chests anyways. Looks really nice. I didn't do much to this room except add some glowstone. Um, but still it looks, it looks pretty much the same. <laughs> um, other than that, I added this over here, which originally my thought was to put chests here. Um, but I decided that I would actually leave this open to where I could possibly put something in here in the future. Like possibly like a staircase that would go down into maybe like, um, I kind of thought maybe like a nether wart room or something like that. Um, so that was kind of my idea for that. And then over here, of course, we have our aquarium. And I put some little kitty paintings up because I think it's adorable. And there's the puffer fish and the, and the clown fish in there. And then if we head over here, we're going to enter to this little hallway. And we have our couch with our three little paintings. And now some more paintings in here. And of course the bedroom has not changed at all. I've left it the same because it's beautiful as is. Um, now over here, I did not do anything to this, but I didn't do anything to this either. <laughs> um, I have not had time to work on replacing all of this just yet. I will eventually, guys. Um, but anyways... Uh, I, oh, I forgot to mention this. All throughout the house, you've seen this carpet. I've added carpet down, which makes it look fancy. Um, but it looks really, really cool. And then as we enter to the entrance hall here, like from the front door, we have a jukebox. Um, and then I didn't really know what to do with this banner, but it's so cute. So I just, I, I just, I'm just going to leave it chill there. Um, but we have a jukebox. And then, of course, I have some torches around. And then over here, we have Larry the Lion Popsicle Doorknob. <laughs> that was something that Kinsey had put up a long time ago, and I told her that I would keep it. So here it is. It's beautiful. Um, other than that, I don't really know of any, like, decoration to put around in this room. But it's just, I mean, it is what it is. It's a pretty nice little area anyways. Um, and then now we're going to come to this room. This room is what I've worked the, I guess, the hardest on. At least the design of it. Because the design of it was really difficult, surprisingly. Um, but this is the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to head on in here. So if we just open the door, this is the bathroom. So... The first thing, of course, that I guess my eyes go to is this over here. And this is the sink. And I have some paintings on the cauldrons because I think that makes it look nice. Um, now, I really wanted to use, like, the just regular ice. That way it looks kind of more transparent. But it would melt because of all the light that's in here. So I decided not to go with that. I just went with packed ice, which is fine. And then we have, like, the little lights above it. Um, over here is the toilet, <laughs> and this is my own design. This is a design that I've used a lot of times, but this is just a cauldron with a hopper, black piece of wool, button, and a pressure plate. Um, so actually, you can, like, open it. You can sit down in the cauldron, literally, <laughs> and then get out, and then all you have to do is click the button. And it'll close. It's a pretty nice little thing. We have a little roll of toilet paper over here for some extra detail. Um, then over here, I have this set up. I really didn't know what I was going for, but this space was missing something over here. So I ended up just doing something like this. Um, so I put some bookshelves, like, up there and, like, right behind there. And then you can open these and you'll kind of, like, see the banner that I put behind there. It I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, like, towels or something. Um, so that's kind of how that looks. And then this banner is supposed to be a towel kind of hanging up. And then this right here is our beautiful shower. We have two shower heads because, you know, we're fancy. <laughs> and this is the hot and the cold. And this is, like, the drain right here. But if we click this button... 
the shower will start. It's just beautiful. And then you can click it again, and it stops. So it's just it's just really cool. Like, for me, it's all about the details in houses. And um, it helps a lot, like, having a house underground. Because, especially when you have to do redstone and everything, it makes it a whole lot easier. Um, but, yeah. So I really like how the bathroom turned out. It was just really difficult to design it and make sure that it, it all looked okay. Um, but I'm happy with it. Um, but other than that, that has concluded our little house tour. I'm sure Bilbo is happy. He's like, get out of my house now. <laughs> um, but now, the really the only thing that like we have to work on is like the outside of it because the outside has a lot of work to be done i really need to like plant some extra trees around because it's starting to look a little bare over there um other than that i mean i think our, our farms are pretty much done i'm sure that there's some kind of small detail that i'm probably missing um, but I think our farms are pretty much done. It's just kind of like adding the details, like some extra trees here and there. And a big thing is like filling the places in with the grass and, or not the grass, the leaves <laughs> and the vines. And I suppose that we need to fill in some places with dirt, I've noticed. Like, especially right there, like do some terraforming to make that look more natural. Because right behind here is actually the bathroom. But um, if I like brought this out a little bit, terraformed it with some dirt, it would look a whole lot better. Add some leaves and some vines. Um, and I know like the towards this side of my house, it does not look the prettiest. I really want to fix that as well. Do some more terraforming. Because as you can see, like look at that. That doesn't look right. Just make it look not so ugly. <laughs> so I really just need to work on terraforming and everything like that. So that's something that I'll probably, well, I'll do that off camera because it takes me a long time to build and everything. I um, mean, I just listen to music while I build. And I guess that that's pretty much it, guys. I just kind of wanted to show you the inside of my house and all the work that I've put into it. All right, so I do believe that there is something at spawn. So let's go ahead and look here. Yes, there is a chest here. Kat said there was a chest that spawned for me, so here we are. She says, for hope, this is the giving chest. Oh, the monthly draw winner. Yay, okay. All right, and we're going to open it, and oh my gosh, it's a, it's a whole block of gold. Oh, yes, that's just, that's wonderful. Okay, we're just going to just put that in, right in there. Beautiful, just yes okay <laughs> that just was a great start to the day that was fantastic all right guys so that is going to be the end of this episode i do hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did guys be sure to leave a like down below it helps out more uh, than you think so anyways that is it so yes i will see you guys all again next time goodbye Thank you.